guys, this dude drove his boat. Clear over here, he did a complete flip. I don't got fish on here. <laughs> did a complete flip in a Draco. Oh god, that was a sweet move actually. <clears throat> um Yeah, come over here, 180 mile an hour, flip the damn thing up in the air, landed back down here, zipped across the lake. His boat's up in the woods up there about three pine trees deep. <laughs> Let me put my pole away here. See if my zoom will get me over there. Oh, I can see his numbers. His boat's launched up in that pine tree up there. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Beware of him when you're out on the lake. Alright. By the way, I'm just here. I already got the Christmas mission done. Uh oh. How did that get up there now? All that shit on my screen. Let's, let's get that out of the way. I don't know why that's there. There we go. Let's transition there. Ah, that's a little better. Now, I wasn't planning on recording. I was just here. I'm just just here fisking. You know, trying. I need one of the challenges to get 12 bait coins is get 50 of these crystal burbot. You can only catch it during Christmas. I already did the Christmas mission, so I'm not worried about it. Anything else too much right now. So I was just sitting here fishing. I got about eight of these crystal burbot. I don't know. What, a, what do I have? I don't know exactly. Let's take a look so I have this on video while we're here. Since you got me going with the R with the recording thing going on. Like I said, I'm just here hunting bourbon. I, I was hunting them on the other side of the lake where the boys at up in the woods right now. And I got a lot of lake trout and trophy brook trout, so there should be some of them in here. But there's, I mean, the bourbon, I, it should be midday. Anything after midday, I moved over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Okay, I thought I had eight. Seven. A lot of trophy lake trout. A couple of nice uni. Couple of nice unis, uni lake trouts. They were pretty nice today. And and guys, I <clears throat> first time I, I decided to throw this up because it's worked so good for me down in South America. I decided to use it up here on these uh, Atlantic salmon and, and just up on this water. I wanted to see what it would do. Man, I was throwing, I'm trying to catch friggin' bourbon on it. <laughs> and. Um, it, the, the unis and the trophy lake trout love this and it's a three quarter inch jig head let me show you the weapon here there you go three quarter inch jig head three odd hook with a six inch black shad on it tearing them up I mean I just I quit because I, I wasn't catching the crystal bourbon over there that's where I was I was you know, trying it out. I hadn't fished over there through the whole winter, uh, the Christmas event, so I went over there because there's a stocking hanging over there, and I didn't know that. Saw that in somebody else's video. So I figured I'd go over and get that stock and grab it so I know where the hell it is for next year. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm here trying to catch these crystal bourbon. So with that, I'm going back to work. We'll see you later. There we got, fellas. <clears throat> There's number 25. 9.7. We only got 25 more to go. We'll keep them. He fought like a fat boy and he wasn't even 10 pounds. And of course I had a strike on this one while I was fighting that one. So, he pulled squared away. I'll see you later. We get closer to 50. Okay, guys, <clears throat> system's gonna roll on me in about six minutes here, so I wanted to get this stuff on tape, so I have it. So let's go check out what we have, how, how we did here today. I've got 27 crystal bourbon at the moment. All right, so we did 86 fish, 763 pounds for 550. Now I've got 27. Um, crystal bourbon, which means I've got 45 
burbot. Now, since I moved over here, went after these burbot from the other side, I have a, I've caught nothing, nothing, nothing but the burbot, every one of them. So the lake trout that you see in here, that was from the other side. That would be in the morning. That was on the other side of the pond. Trophy Lake whitefish morning. All, all the other fish were caught in the morning or midday. And I moved at noon time, kind of, over here to start slamming these crystal bourbon. So we did pretty good. Got a couple more to go yet to get to 50. But we'll get there. A couple of nice uni lake trouts. So basically the crystal bourbon, guys, I nothing but... Nothing but medium cup bait. Now I am throwing some of this glazed crawfish. I have that on, on my feeder pole. And you can see the difference. I am getting a few on the glazed crawfish. But 90% are on the medium cup bait. All right guys. Well, it's probably gonna roll on me here as soon as we get back to the water. I'll see you in a little bit. Ah, we got six minutes. Maybe we'll get another one here before five o'clock. Okay there. Brand new cow. Brand new cow. Okay, fellas. I'll be back. All right, fellas. <clears throat> Oh, 10 2. You're not too savvy, but that's 49. One more to go. Let's take a look. Now, I ran out of the glazed crawfish cut. So, on that pole, which was my feeder pole, I was, I was throwing that. I went to small cut bait because it can't handle the medium cut bait. So I went to small cut bait and uh, it's it's working just as well. So we've got a lot of bourbon. <laughs> Nothing but bourbon. One leg trout. It was the first one this morning, like I said earlier. And that's it. Now, my sticks here, fellas. Let's take a look at what we're... I'm only fishing with three sticks. Um, that's basically what I brought with me um, to do the Christmas events. So, um, oh, it's in the rod stand. Son of a bitch. You know what? We'll catch the 50th one. I'll show you. I'll show you my sticks when we're all done. I got one more to go. We'll be right back. There he is, fellas. Number 50. We'll get a picture of him. What the hell? Be right back. Okay, guys, we're going to keep him. And that should be the mission, I think. It should be 50. There it is. Crystal Fish Hunter. That's a certain number of Crystal Bird Rewards. 12 bait coins. We'll take that. I want one. Nothing wrong with that. All right, back. Let's close that. All right, guys. Now that I got all my poles out of there. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Let's go over. Let's put this guy away. All right. Let's transition over. Why? I ass I do not like that. All right, let's pull up. Here's our sticks. Let's take a look at what we're fishing with over here today. So what we were running with these guys. Now here's the trick to these all bourbon. Okay. And I learned this from KP. Five odd hooks. That's the deal. Five odd hooks. And medium cut bait. Now, I was running medium cut bait on everything except for um, my fruitcake here and I was running those glazed crawfish on this from the Christmas stuff so and that was working really good however I run down done run out of them so 
medium cut bait was too heavy for this stick. So I had to go with um, small cut bait. And it worked just as well. Like I said, you can see the small cut bait. It, it, it brought them bur uh, bourbon up sweet. Now I thought I might have a little bit of trouble catching other fish on the small cut versus the medium cut. Now, I might be getting some of the trout, the lake, but with that five, number five odd hook, I think is really the, is what did it. That, that's what did it in. So we grabbed them. We, that challenge is over and done with. All right, guys, let's see if I can make this work the right way. Oh, so that's gotta be me up there. We gotta do that. Then we have to do this. Oh, it's like that. Then that. Hey, I did it. I'm getting my buttons down, fellas. <laughs> All right. Hey, I hope that helped you out here a little bit. Like I said, um, let me go over there. Let's, before we leave, let me just do this for you. Let's go back down on there. Let's go fishing, because I forgot to do this. Let's pull up the map. Um, okay, this is the spot right here. Crystal Burbot. Now that's medium bottom rod, medium cut bait, and there's your coordinates. Now you got to be careful um, with this spot because basically now I don't have my pointer. <laughs> hey, how about if I did this? If I do a, oh, you're not seeing it. Come on, Buck. You got to get over here. You got to give him this, and that didn't work. So we have to cancel that out. There they are. All right. Now let's pull up the map. There we go. This is the spot. There we go. <clears throat> so, all right, medium cut bait, 2684 by four, negative 1406. Now again, why do you gotta be careful? Well, because, let me see if I can use my arrow. Let me see, yeah, you can see that. Okay, cool, with my control key. There is a stick or a log or something that's submerged in the water right out here and you'll get snagged on it all right and there's also this is an easy place to get snagged in here so you got to pay attention to your bobber on them bottom rods or on your match rods and if you're using a match rod you need to be down uh over 80 inches so you so otherwise there's a little bit of flow there's a little bit of flow here and with that match rod if you're up off the bottom it will float away from you and, it, and it'll float it, it'll actually float it'll float this way down towards the right slowly but surely so make sure you're down to 80 inches like i said we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, the sticks over there i already said you <clears throat> yeah down to 80 inches that way it sits right on the bottom basically like a bottom rod and it won't move on you and it'll stay there and you got to check on them every hour redo your poles you know if you haven't had a bite in 30 minutes or so pull them up and reset them because they could be snagged and your bottom rod you can't tell however on a match rod you can tell because if you're looking at your screen and all of a sudden your bobber disappears from the screen it's snagged that's just plain and simple right there so you got to keep an eye on that bobber notification if it goes away you're snagged and you could be sitting there for 20 30 minutes and not know it and you're not gonna catch no fish that's for sure all right, guys. Well, <clears throat> oh, I didn't want that. I know why it keeps pulling that map up on. I'm hitting that M key. All right. Well, that should do it, fellas. I hope that helps you out with this. This is a long, drawn-out process. As you can see, I started on day one at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's now day two at 8.35 p.m. Now, I only fished with... Um, let's see here. We can, get off of the, we can get off the lake right now. I only fished with three poles because I, like I said, um, probably if you came here and this was all you were going to do was come here to, to do this mission, I'd definitely come with four bottom rods, personally. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm looking at my stats over here and I don't have them up for you. I, I didn't have them up, so it takes too long to get them ready. Um, I, I, keep, I basically keep track of every hour of what I caught how much pound it is and I was catching 28 there 31 32 33 35 that's my that's my crystal bourbon count for each hour at 36 38 
40. So what the best I was doing was about two an hour with three poles. So I caught a lot of, raw, a lot of the regular bourbon, a lot of trophy bourbon, a lot of them. Because they hit that medium cut bait, that's what they like. So I don't know if I would have got them any faster with five poles versus the three. I don't know. However, you know, I was here just to hang out and get her done. And that's what we did. So, with that being said, never ever give up the fight. See you later.